Five years ago, I published on my blog that Chuck Lorre, the creator of huge TV series such as The Big Bang Theory, was introducing a new TV show about a Nigerian immigrant. Today, Bob Hart Sabishola is heading into its fifth season and celebrating more cultural milestones for Nigeria and Africa on American television like never before. I caught up with Folake Olowo Fayoko, who plays Abishola, to find out if she expected the series to run this long when she was cast for it. No, 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 no. I didn't think it would go that long at all. I had no idea. Uh, it was a pleasant surprise. But what have been uh, some of the personal highlights for you throughout that journey? It's been, there's been so much. There's been so much. There's been so much growth. Um, the first time in my life I had a job longer than a month. Uh, and um, the impact that that the show has had on the culture, uh, I'd say, is one of one of the many highlights. Um, it's giving context to the immigrant experience, uh, not just in America but but globally, and not just for Nigerian immigrants. I think every every kind of immigrant, and it's shown that regardless of what we look like and sound like, we all want love at the end of the day. And so this show was timely, um, considering the climate for, for the world globally. Uh, I think it was something that, that uplifted folks um, and provided an escape. And so I'm grateful for those being the highlights that this project is associated with. And in terms of the impact uh, culturally, uh, the awareness it's created for African culture generally, which are some of the um, shocking moments that perhaps people reach out to you and say, uh, through what you what we saw, we now know this. If you could cite about two or three of that, what what would that be? Shocking moments. Uh, the impact has been shocking. Um, <laughs> I, I I didn't I didn't realize venturing into this that it would mean so much to so many people. You know, I was just I was just a starving artist who'd been in the game for for a very long time, over 15 years before I got this job. And um one of the defense mechanisms was just to just leave it on the table and forget it, forget about it. And I I, I did the same with this project. And um and luckily it, it turned out to be the magnificent gift that it's been. So I'm completely filled with gratitude for it. You were nominated for an NAACP award uh, for your role on the show. How does that make you feel? I mean, you know, they say you don't make it unless you made it with your people. And mm -hmm. uh, and that's that's what I felt like. I felt like I was being recognized by my people, and that meant a lot to me. Um, the NAACP is responsible for for the opportunity that I have in this country, the work that they've done, um them others like them allies um, they're the reason i can i can come to america and flourish the way i wasn't able to at home and uh and i'm grateful for that acknowledgement it made me feel proud it made me feel very proud uh talking about being recognized by your people i mean you come back home to nigeria often um how has this achievement that you you've had over there in the state translated back home, even in terms of work and acceptance, how people welcome you? Uh, <laughs> it's like I got a, a facelift, like 50 cents. <laughs> 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 um, it's, it's bittersweet. It's bittersweet because the reason I left Nigeria was because I wasn't able to do what I'm doing here, you know? And uh, I had to leave my home that I love, I would happily have remained in Nigeria. Um, but fate would have it that where opportunities lied for me would be in this country. And um, it feels bittersweet and also a, like a full circle moment because going back home, the acceptance that I wanted now exists. So many years later, doing the exact same thing I was told not to do. And while it feels great, it, I also feel slighted in a way. I feel slighted for having to leave my home. But 
I think the, the the bigger plan and the greater good and something cosmically was in play because <laughs> the fact that my mother in the show is my mother's name in real life and all the characters of your body descent on my show are from where my father's from it makes it feel like the, there was there was greater work outside of my comfort to be done and I'm grateful for that. So does that mean you had an input in the writing of the story? No, no, no. I don't have an input in the writing of the story, no. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you, you do have a, a love for adventure. I mean, from tracking gorillas to uh, parasailing. Where do you get that from? I get it from my mother. I get it from my mom. <laughs> my mom. My mom was very adventurous, very brave, strong woman, strongest woman I've ever met. And... Um, and when we were young, we participated in all this like water sports with her. Uh, we would go to England. There's this place called Water Water Park. I think it was what it's called. And she would go down the slides with all of us and my brother and I. And uh, and that's where my love for adventure really came. And also just traveling. You know, Africans we like to travel. My family travels a lot, and so that was already instilled in me from a very young age. So what's what, that what, one wild thing that you'd like to do that you haven't done yet? Uh, I'm going to skydive. I know I'm going to. I just, um, I know exactly where I'm going to do it. I know what I'm going to do with. I just haven't had the time to return there yet. But um, I'm looking forward to doing that. Uh, also surfing. I'm going to start surfing. My co-star, Billy, Billy Gardell, he started surfing. And I'm going to, I'm going to hop along with him and do some, do some surfing. Uh, what else? I want to have an animal sanctuary. So I, I really love animals and uh, I love being surrounded by them. And one of my goals is to have a sanctuary and also an island that I want to populate with people who want to live sustainably. Fantastic. I mean, you are a woman of many hats. You're also a DJ uh, who creates Afro alternative electronic sounds. Uh, what do you think about the growth of African music in general? Uh, looking at highlights where now the Grammys is recognizing our music. I I DJed once. I really enjoy it, and um, I plan on doing some more of it as as I get free time. Uh, I also studied audio engineering, which makes us uh, the segue into DJing uh, very easy, I guess. Um, I'm a musician more than I am a DJ. I released a couple of singles, but um, this year I'm working on new music and I'll be releasing new music this year. I, I feel, I feel, you know, look, Africans have been enjoying African music for a very long time. I was even, I was listening, I used to listen to African music when, <laughs> when my, my classmates made fun of African music. Um, it's, it's good. It's good that we're being highlighted. It's good that the culture is being appreciated. It's good that artists are being given an opportunity to create their arts within the continent and it be appreciated globally. Hence, then allowing local officials and institutions also recognize us. It's like my story all over again. Why does it have to be that way? Um, I think what music Afrobeat is doing right now, Afrobeats is doing right now, is um, is creating opportunity for, for, African, for African creatives and that's amazing. Fantastic. Uh, your song was released to mark the second anniversary of the NSAS uh, massacre. Uh, do you feel that uh, the victims have received justice in, uh, some years after that? Do you Generally. feel like the victims have received justice? No, 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 not, not from mine, but I want your point. <laughs> <laughs> no. What do you think we, we have to do more in terms of asking for better and wanting better? from our, our leaders? On the one hand, we can lead by example and live a life of love and tolerance and, um, and community. On another hand, it feels like we're past that and something more urgent needs to be done. I think ultimately what is needed is a collective shift in the mindset of, of our people. Um, and even then, that feels like a privilege. It feels like a privilege to have the opportunity to do that when your basic needs are not being met. 
I, I don't know the answer to the question. Uh, I do know that if we all think about ways we can help within our communities, nothing is too small. What can you do right now for somebody? If everybody thinks that way, um, I think it'll start to shift the mind the mindset from away from that of lack and more into that of abundance. There's enough to go around. There's no reason why we have so many resources and are not benefiting from it. And since that's the case, who do we need to look to? Who is the one subjugating us? Let's look at the bigger picture and learn to love ourselves so that we're not easily corrupted. Fantastic. I mean, I do know from having a conversation with you that there's mu new music coming up, but in terms of work, what should we really look up for, let's say, throughout the year? I have a big surprise coming. I can't, I wish I could talk about it now. We filmed this about a year and a half ago and uh, it will be released at the end of the year. Uh, it's, it's a big project. I, I believe it's going to be a big blockbuster hit. And... Um, Outside of that, they're, they're just, they're, there are a lot of things happening, but I can't really tell you about them yet. Um, I, whatever, like, let me tell you this, the continent will be proud. You guys are going to be very <laughs> proud. There's, there are big things coming. Fantastic. I guess, I guess you have to keep an eye out to all, all the amazing things you're about to do. Yes, and, follow me uh, on social media. I'll be posting about everything. Make sure you check my stories too, because there'll be information all through there. Fantastic. Thank you so much, uh, Falaka. It's been amazing speaking with you. And you uh, I'll be watching and admiring all the amazing things you're about to do from afar. Thank you.